some say it's bad journalistic practice to open a feature like this with your conclusions. You're supposed to tease, cajole and amuse your viewer, listener or reader and take them with you on an entertaining and informative voyage of discovery. Ideally, you should open with one viewpoint, gradually prove it wrong and close with an entirely different conclusion. Well, bugger that, this seems fab and I'm not about to say otherwise. The new Mini Cooper S is as cute, stylish and adorable as the rest of the Mini range, but with more of everything thrown in. More umph, more scoops, more spoilers, more style, even more gears. <sighs> now let's calm down here and take an anorak moment to consider just what has changed for the Mini Cooper S. Overall, it looks even more squat, purposeful and aggressive, but without ever stopping looking cute. It has gained chrome touches all over the place, a rear roof spoiler, new front grille and best of all, a great big intake scoop on the bonnet. And that is a clue, because it's not there just for cosmetic reasons only. Trouser worryingly good, though it looks. The big changes are underneath. It gains a supercharger and intercooler, hence the bulging bonnet. That pushes power up to 163 brake horsepower and brings the 0 to 62 miles an hour time down to 7.4 seconds. The suspension is retuned as well and they even chuck in a six speed gearbox. Thank you. It's not like a turbo where you dawdle along and then there's a terrifying tidal wave of, of power all of a sudden. With the supercharger it's just constant drive. You can row it through the six gears and just enjoy that huge amount of torque. It is tremendous fun and it does sound The Mini Cooper S may be small, but the numbers aren't that dinky. 163 brake horsepower means a top speed of 135 miles an hour. It's all thanks to a 1.6 litre, 16 valve, supercharged engine. 7.4 seconds is all it takes to hit 60 miles an hour. Again, we have six speeds in the gearbox. Insurance Group, 15. <laughs>